Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's a little bit all over the place, but it's basically just a chatty get ready with me. I am still doing research and reconnaissance for my dupe video and I'm still trying to get all of the things kind of involved. So I'm using different products in a different order, a couple first impressions, really just getting ready today so that I can put my final thoughts together so I can finally come at you guys with the dupe video I've been talking about for literally like two weeks. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. That is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to just chill with me while we get ready, keep on watching. So you guys know exactly how these get ready with me chatty videos go. I try to be really focused on just chatting with you guys and it turns into a tutorial. So I'm going to do my best not to have that happen. I am going to be doing the products that you're going to see are going to be a little bit um, repetitive, I guess is a good way to put it. They are all things that you have seen before. I am basically putting the last notes together for what is going to be turning into, I just got foundation all over me, uh, for what's going to be turning into that dupe video I've been talking about. I do just need to uh, finish getting my thoughts together on that. So yeah, in uh, not so many words, and I will link everything I used in today's video in the description box so that you guys can kind of see what I use, even though I won't be actually talking about it. But I did just want to chat with you guys, because I feel like every video I do ends up turning very, like, tutorial or overly demonstrational. And I really wanted to make sure that we just had a moment. I feel like you just haven't had time for me lately. No, uh, but the products I'm using... Some of them you will have seen in my last mini tutorial, which was me getting ready for my dupe video. I'm just using different ones and playing around with how things work with different things. I did get one person, kind of shitty, who was basically like calling me out because in that video I didn't give you what my dupes were. But in that video I was literally testing to see if they were close enough for me to even be able to call them a dupe. So... That's why if you were questioning in that video why I didn't give you guys more information, something can look kind of like a dupe or the shade could be similar, but it's all in how it applies, how it wears. You know, if it looks like a dupe for 35 seconds and you walk out of the house and in different lighting it suddenly looks completely different, guess what? It is not a dupe. So rather than give you guys something and then have to backtrack and be like, you know that blush I said was a dupe for this blush? They're not actually the same. Yeah, I'm going to avoid that kind of drama and just wait until I have a definitive opinion before I share with you guys what exactly the product's duped for. Whether I find this concealer, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, whether I do find this to actually be a dupe for anything, I'm really enjoying it. Like, I'm pretty sure... The formula is very similar to something else, and again, in that dupe video, which is coming, I think, next week at this point, you will definitely see my complete thoughts. However, right now, on its own, like, I've just been taking a tiny bit of this concealer every day over whatever I'm doing, just because I find that it gives me just the perfect amount of brightness. And Patrick's Powder... Um, and then something else I did just want to mention quickly, not everything I'm using in this video will end up in that dupe video. Reason behind it, I do want to make sure that I'm only including dupes. So even though in both this video and that last video, you'll see me using certain products. I mean, you'll probably be able to put the pieces together as to some of the things I'm thinking are dupes. But whether or not they actually come together in that video and they actually like wear the same way like I love this micro smooth powder I'm gonna be completely honest I'm still testing it against the Charlotte Tilbury flawless airbrush finishing powder they're definitely close I'm not sure if I would necessarily categorize them yet as a dupe but I've been really using them side by side a lot lately just to really get that down because I want it to be perfect you know 
I'm gonna go quickly prime the eyes and throw on a quick brow and I'll be right back. Awesome. So I'm gonna be playing around. I've only worn this. This is the Fenty bronzer in Shady Biz. I have worn this twice before and I'm still not sure if I love it. Now, when I swatched it, like, you know how you go into Sephora and you swatch products? It was a little patchy on the first swatch. Obviously with a brush, I don't have that issue at all. But I think what I like most about this, it is definitely a more sheer formula. So with too many bronzers, like, you'll dip in and you'll start buffing it out and it'll just get very overwhelming. With this one, you can really build it up nicely. So if you like a really heavy bronze application, either this one won't be the one for you or you'll really have to just load up on product. But for me personally, I tend to favor more contour and blush and I tend to use a little less bronzer than most people. Probably because I'm just, I'm very cool toned and I am, I'm not very fair, but I am on the lighter side. So for me, it just makes a little more sense for me to just going with a little bit less bronzer. But I have been really liking the tone of this one lately. It just really does sculpt the features nicely. And I love that it doesn't get too overwhelming too quickly. And the packaging is stunning. Like that's another thing. If you've got good packaging and everything just looks really pretty, I'm usually on board. I say that now, but I'm usually the same person. I'm gonna take a little bit of Hula Caramel and I like the way the Fenty looks, but I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of this, and I'm actually gonna use this to contour today. I do want a little bit more of a warm contour, because what I have going on the eyes today, if it's what I'm thinking I wanna do, is gonna be a little bit more on the like pastel side. I have a question for you guys. Lately in my not just my videos, in everything. I have been doing a lot more blush. I've been very blush heavy lately, and I've been noticing in pictures I look a little more lifelike, just because, you know, naturally we have color to the skin, and for the longest time, because my skin was so red, I was very anti-blush, so I just wouldn't wear it, because I figured if I'm taking all this full coverage foundation, to get all of the redness out of my skin, why am I gonna then just go in and put on blush and add it back in? And lately I've been disagreeing with that and I've been doing more of a heavy blush application. I mean, to normal people, I guess this is an average blush application, but for me, it's what I would consider to be a heavier application. What do you guys think? What do you guys like? Because like I've not only been using like more than one blush and mixing and matching, but I've also just been making sure that it was a little more pronounced. On camera, I think it looks really nice. In person, I find it's really nice. But you see how it just looks a little more soft and ethereal? I do, however, still like to take a little bit of a finishing powder and just soften and diffuse it a little bit, just because it does tend, even on me, to get a little intimidating, because I don't, I'm still not used to it. Like, I will still, I will contour. I will do so much highlighter that it's not even funny. But when it comes to working with things that are a little bit more blushy, I still tend to shy away from it a little bit. So the one thing that I still have not found the perfect dupe for that I'm still hunting for is highlighter. That is something that you guys know I'm very partial to highlight. It is hands down like my favorite part of my routine. And I am still trying to figure out the right dupe because the product I'm trying to dupe out I can't find anything that works for. For today, I'm going to be dipping into the Maber Maberine. Maybelline Master Chrome in Rose Gold. She has seen better days. Like, we clearly love her. And I'm just going to really add that rosy tone. Oh, that's so pretty. Every time I don't use this for a while, and then I go back to it, I just, I, I remember all over again why I love it plus the price point, like, I have highlighters I've spent literally four or five times as much as this, and this one is still absolutely stunning. The cats are running back and forth really loudly down the hallway out here, and um, I will be doing an updated studio tour at some point. Technically, I am not in a room. This is a den off of the hallway 
outside of our guest room. So, like, looking down here, I can see my laundry room door, I can see my bathroom door, I can, and the cats are just running up and down this hallway. It's a lot, but it's cute. Like, they're, they're cute. It would be great if they would stop chasing each other, though. All right, the skin is looking really nice. I'm quite happy with how this is turning out. Um, I am gonna be doing something very soft on the eyes, I think, maybe, but I'm gonna go quickly do that off camera because as you guys have seen in a million Get Ready With Me videos, when I try and do an eye look and I am not focusing on chatting, it turns into a tutorial, and you'll probably end up seeing a tutorial on the look anyway, but I'm gonna go do that quickly and I'll be right back. And that's the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did use the Blue Blood palette for today's video. I am actually wearing the Go Big or Go Home mascara from Kat Von D Beauty. And I did throw on the What's Your Sign lipstick from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights and my Dior lip gloss, which you guys know I am a huge fan of that lip combo lately definitely something I'm feeling. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below, like, wh what are you excited to see a dupe of? Like, what are you ready for? Because I know I've been talking about this for a minute. The video is coming. I promise I am filming my dupe video tomorrow. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!